What's going on everybody, Step or Seven Not here, back with another How To Play. Today we're learning how to play Follow You by Bring Me The Horizon. This song has actually got that much to it. It is really kind of straightforward and, and kind of calm and the, the riffs are really kind of calm. There isn't really much going on there. So this lesson probably won't be that long, but I hope you like this lesson anyway. I hope you like the cover that I uploaded recently and uh, let's go straight into the lesson. So first of all, you want to be in half a step down. So that is either, you can count that as flat, so basically be standard tuning but with flat, or you can do it in sharps, and I'm more of a sharp person, I usually do everything with sharps, I don't usually tend to deal with, uh, with, uh, with, with flats and that kind of stuff. So the notes you're going to want to be in, you want to be in D sharp, then G sharp, then C sharp, then F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. Or in flats it'll be E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. Well, standard tuning, but half a step down, so it's a, yeah. Makes sense, all right. So basically, first off, what you're gonna do is, there's not gonna be anything for the first 80 seconds, and all of a sudden, you're gonna have a nice, clean, kind of reverb -y, uh, I've got the nice delay, I've got some reverb there, I've got no modulation, I've just got um, delay and reverb going on in there. Um, and what the first notes you're gonna be doing is, I tend to not use a pick throughout the whole the whole of this song, it just doesn't really need a pick, it doesn't really need the attack that a pick uh, pick gives, so I just use my I use my index finger throughout the whole song. So you see people people who know finger style will probably be looking at me like, holy shit, don't do that. Whereas for me, that's how I do it, I've never really been good at finger picking, so I'm not gonna try now until one day. So what are you gonna start off with is you're gonna be on the ninth fret of the, uh, the F sharp string, or well, the fourth string, doesn't matter. Uh, and you're gonna play a nine there, and then you're just gonna play a ten and nine. So it's three notes, dun, 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 just like this. Just like that. And you're gonna play that eight times around. So eight times you're gonna play the notes, and then you're gonna go into this main riff. And the main riff is also played over the choruses and pretty much everything. So for this main riff, you're gonna start off back again with that nine, ten, nine, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do nine, ten, eight. Just like that, so just like that. Then you go back to nine ten again, and then we're going to do this uh, this seven nine, and then ten twelve on the uh, on the um, B flat string or the A sharp string. So it's going to be just like that. So I play that so far. Just like that. So there is a nine ten nine in between all these little fiddly things that you're going to be doing. So. Then back again to the 9-10-9, then back to the 9-10-8, and then now what we're going to do is you want to do you want to do 7-9 on the F-sharp string, and then you want to do a 5-7 on the low C-sharp string, just like that, so, just like that. So you'll notice the first uh, three parts of that, so the 9 10 9, the 9 10 8, back to 9 10 9, they always stay the same, then either you go higher or you go lower. Just like this. Just like that. And that is pretty much the main riff sorted. So if you could just remember to play that, I think you have to play that for the first time round, the first verse, it plays it about eight times, it's really it's really long, but it's kind of nice and relaxing, it isn't necessarily a, a really difficult riff to learn, so it doesn't take too long, so you should be okay with that. Now, after you've played the verse riff about eight times, you're going to go into this uh, this pre-verse, but you're only going to play this once in the whole song. It's, it's just so it's literally, we call it a bridge, even though it's not a bridge, it's literally, you only play this bit once throughout the whole song. And what you're going to be doing there, this is all the discordant chords, and I guess this is for people who've never done discordant chords before, this, this is probably a really good place to start because it is really calm and there isn't too much going on and it's pretty much all discordant chords. So you're going to be starting off with your finger, basically you're going to do, if you know what E minor, uh, E minor shape looks like, do the opposite of that and you're going to be playing the A sharp and, uh, not the A sharp, sorry, you're going to be playing the G sharp and the C sharp string, so it's two and a zero. So, it so this is normal, this is normal power chord. Just swap the index finger over and just go over one string. So it's two zero rather than zero two if you look on tabs. So you go, and then two and three. So two on your index finger, three on your middle finger. Just like that. And then you're gonna slide up and do, keep the shape, do the four five, so it's that kind of shape where the index finger's there and your middle finger's there. So, you go to the four five. And then you're gonna do uh, five seven. 
like that. So five on your index finger on the highest string, seven on the lowest string. So I've played it so far, so. And I'm telling you, oh, And then what you're gonna do is slide up with the same shape you just left off with the five and seven, keep that shape going, do the seven and nine, and then switch back to the, uh, rather than using your ring finger, use your middle finger again with the nine, 10. So the, the nine being on the highest string and the 10 being on the lower string, so. Try it again. Just like that. So you've got the, so the nines there and then the tens on the lower. And then what you want to do after you've done that, so after you've done that, if I play that round for you one more time and then we'll get the idea and I think I remember how to, uh, how to finish stuff. So let's go. And I'm telling you, you're all I need. Like that, and then you end off with a four five, and the uh, the you, at the end of that riff, you want to go back to how you played in the middle of it. So, just like that. And then once you've done that, it's pretty much not really much else goes on throughout the whole song. Now we're going to go into the chorus. But what one guitar to be doing is that same riff, that nine ten nine riff while another guitar is playing the chords. And what the chords are, I do I variate it. I can either you can I can show you power chords and I can show you the open chord variation. Right. I tend to use the open chords at the end of the song because there's not really much else higher going on there. So it's kind of nice to have that kind of the the room with the, the open chords. But what I'll show you what the chords are is you want to do a B minor. So that is a power chord on the second fret but with your uh, with your with your middle finger playing the minor which is the third fret on the uh, on the A sharp string. <laughs> Like that, so it's two, four, four, three. Just like that, and then a C is you want to move up one but take your middle finger off, so just standard power chord. And then you want to do an E minor, which is a standard E minor, just like that, with the uh, zero, two, two. And then you want to do a D, which is a power chord on the fifth fret of the uh, G sharp string. Can I play that for you one more time? So. So you want to keep repeating that round for the choruses, etc. While the higher part is playing this riff, and so on and so forth, including the lower part as well. And that just goes round as you do and carries on. And then once you've done that, you want to go into this part of the riff. It basically just stops for a second after the first chorus, and then you want to play a seven on the uh, on the G sharp string. So, the and then what you want to do is five seven nine on the uh, on the C sharp string. So. We go to the four, and then five seven, just like that. So that four rings out a little bit, same as the seven. So five seven nine four five seven, just like that. So five seven nine four five seven, then back to the seven again, and background again. You want to keep playing that until the next chorus comes up, and halfway through that, the the lead guitar will come in, harmonise with it, and basically what you want to be doing that is you want to start playing on the 9, so after this has gone round twice, so you want to start off with a 9, and then you want to do a 12, then 10, 12 on the higher string. So this is all on the uh, this is all on the F sharp string, and then you go up to the A sharp, do that 10, 12, so the higher, the, the higher ones there, so. Then 12, then 10, 12, so 12, 10, 12, on the higher string, so the last two. And then 11 on the lower, And then you want to do 11, 12, and then 10 on the higher. So when you get to that 11, then you want to play a 12, and then end on the, uh, the 10 on the higher string. So, play it for you now. If you look at the tabs, you'll understand. So obviously you're ringing out every, every note every so often. And then once you've done that, you don't want to play, um, you don't want to go into the this discordant riff, because as I said, you only play it once. You're going to go straight back into the chorus, which is, as you guessed it, with the higher part doing the, the higher part, all that all that jazz up there, while the guitars, while the other guitar is doing the standard chords. And all the, you know, we'll start off with the G, the G minor, uh, the B minor, sorry. And 
them chords which I'll put in the tabs there for you and then play that a good couple of times round and then I think it's around the eighth time of the, the, sec the second chorus going round, the guitar's going to stop doing this higher riff, this higher riff that's the intro etc like that, and then they want to start doing this, which is a 10-12 hammer-on on the A sharp, just like that. So that's 10-12 on the A sharp string, 9-12 on the F sharp string, and then when you the, right at the end that to go back around again just before you're about to go around you want to do a 9-7 pull off on the um, on the F sharp string and that's about it and that basically repeats itself right until the end of the song where then instead of the uh, rhythm guitar playing the power chord versions, then we're going to switch up and go into the open chord versions because as you're just playing that riff, it kind of fades out and you don't really hear much of the lead anymore. So what you're going to be doing there is you keep your B minor shape and then instead of going up one to do a C, you're going to do a C here, which is the 3, 2, 0, 1 on the shape, just like that. Then E minor again and then do a D. Which is two three two open two three two. So if we play that chord, we've played the chords now in open version. Let's go. And it ends on that D, and then it just rings out, and that's about it for the rest of the song. So there we have it guys, sorry about this being all mixed mashing and stuff like that, there's not really much going on in that song, but hopefully you learned something. If you had any trouble, don't forget to leave uh, your comment down below, either myself or another guitar player, like yourselves, like everybody here, will uh, answer your question right before you. And if you still have any more questions, don't forget you can follow my Facebook page, message me on there, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Thank you very much for watching this lesson guys, and stay tuned for more coming up very, very soon. Cheers guys, thank you, take care, bye.